Hello Aquarius and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your first half of September 2023 tarot reading for the sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. As always, the reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you. So let's see what we have for you first half. We have courage. You can see the line in the picture facing something head on, not afraid to look at it straight in the eye. Because that's when we discover our own personal power, that whatever we face and deal with, we have the power to overcome it. It's realizing our own power. <clears throat> what do we have for Aquarius, please? Angel spirits, guides, Archangel message, yes. You know what to do, Archangel Uriel. Trust your inner knowledge and act upon it without delay. Now, Archangel Uriel is also very good in terms of epiphanies, um, brilliant ideas, that kind of energy. So as part of this process, you're being told personal power, courage, facing something. You know what to do. Let's see what we have for Aquarius, first half of September. A message for our lovely Aquarians, thank you. What do we have for Aquarius? Message for Aquarius. Overarching energy is the King of Pentacles. As an energy, this can represent success, stability, security. It can be a person, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, male or female, or the energy of the card. Somebody who is solid, stable, secure, successful. Six of Swords. Five of Swords. We have the Ten of Wands, Five of Wands, Four of Cups, we have the Queen of Cups here, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, male or female, or the energy of the card, and we have the Hanged Man. Let's pull a card for the King of Pentacles, please. I've got, again, the Queen of Cups and the Hanged Man. I feel that there is some kind of fallout or disagreement. I mean, this feels also maybe potentially some kind of trust has been broken as well. Uh, we have two fires, which can be quite disruptive energy, very conflicted energy as well. This feels like some kind of conflict, uh, disagreement, not feeling on the same page as someone, because someone goes and does something that they want to do and disregards you and disrespects you in some way. So I feel whatever this conflict is about, it's about someone's behavior of uh, they go and do something and it causes conflict, hurt, upset, disruption here. Uh, not feeling that you're on the same page, quite the opposite. And a sense here with the Six of Swords... It looks like you're being asked to 
Can we put it behind us? Whatever the thing that someone's done, can we just put it behind us and move on from this? And again, this is the energy here with the Four of Cups. You're being offered it. You're being offered this peace offering, this apology, this heartfelt gesture. And it could even be, well, you've forgiven me before. Why can't you just let this go now? And this feels like the energy here, Aquarius, of you're considering it. You're not saying yes, you're not saying no. You're really considering it. Very, very powerful intuitive energy as well with the Four of Cups. Um, because it, it feels, whatever this is, it's been disrespectful and it's too much. Again, the, the Ten of Wands can be something maybe didn't start out to be a burden but whatever this conflict is and it may well have happened on more than one occasion if someone keeps on going and doing the same thing and disrespects you and disregards you and it causes conflict arguments upset not feeling on the same page uh begrudging this person you know whatever the scenario is and you're not sure that you can move on from it this time that's the energy here Queen of Cups is somebody who is very intuitive. Uh, Queen of Cups can be somebody who offers love. If this is you, you're being very intuitive in terms of what you feel you need to do here. With the Ten of Wands, something has become too much of a burden. It's become too heavy. This whole experience has become too much. And you just want to liberate from it now because you can't go on. This is a can't go on the way I'm going on. But I feel that you're, this is an opportunity to surrender. Again, the hanged man, it feels this is a period of waiting, waiting and seeing and watching if someone is going to make good on their promise. I mean, this can also be, um, it could, I'm talking about relationships. It could also be, you know, a work situation as well. But it feels like you're either agreeing to wait, wait and see, give someone a little bit of time to prove themselves, or alternatively you might be deciding to be in this still energy. If you've already made up your mind, you might be waiting to set yourself up in terms of how you release from this situation. So either way, the energy is, is wait. Uh, the, the hanged man is very still energy. Physically, we're very still with a hanged man, but a lot's going on internally, you know, and we put the onus on others to prove that things will change, to prove that a weight can be lifted. Because one of two things will happen. Either they go and do something disrespectful again, that's your answer that you've been waiting for, or alternatively, they make good on their promise and the weight and the burden is lifted. But either way, this is the point here of somebody has reached the point where they can't go on the way they're going and something has to give. You're being told, I feel that there is a sense of waiting, biding your time, either to give somebody the benefit of the doubt or alternatively, if you've already made up your mind here, Aquarius, this will be to set yourself up and let things fall into place in how you're going to move forward. That would be the advice. So let's pull a card for the hanged man. Someone is promising to be solid, stable, secure, which kind of indicates that that's not the experience that you've had with this person so far. Yeah, the Two of Wands, you're waiting on to make a choice with the King of Pentacles again. Yeah, the, the Two of Wands can be um, a choice between two paths, two opportunities. You know, it's, it's the duality card. You're at some kind of crossroads. But with the Hanged Man, you're waiting. You're holding on a decision yet. Um, and again, with the Two of Wands, if you've already made a decision... You might be waiting just for everything to fall into place before you step into the unknown and potentially remove yourself from this situation. Again, if it was a work situation, you might be waiting to set yourself up in terms of a new job, you know, that allows you to liberate from this place. Queen of, Queen of Cups for me as a reader can be very good in terms of HR as well. Um, 
or somebody who is giving you advice or supporting you through a difficult time if it's not somebody directly involved in this. So this is what I'm seeing here. It feels like there is some kind of choice to make or a decision, but you're either holding on making the choice and decision to see if things are going to change, or if you have already taken action and made a decision, you're waiting to get your end set up before you make the changes that you need to. So this is the energy that I'm seeing here. I'll put the King of Cups down, King of... Yeah, and look, bottom of the deck, the Strength card. Started at the beginning of the reading and it finishes at the end. The Strength. This is discovering your own personal power either way to face something and deal with it head on and not be afraid to make the right choice for you, even if it means stepping into the unknown. This is the energy here of, of you have a choice between two paths, two options, uh, two avenues here, or staying or going. And this is what I'm seeing here. Strength to face things that are difficult to face. This, this time I feel you're dealing with it either way. This time there's a resoluteness that something has to give, that the main objective is to liberate from whatever this experience is, weight, this burden that has been, you know, weighing you down. Uh, that is the main objective here, and you're waiting to see how that's going to come about. That's what I'm seeing here. But ultimately, with the hanged man, we always get that sense of illumination. We always get that sense of, like I said with the Archangel Uriel card, you always get that epiphany, that moment of lucidity, the answer, the wisdom that you've been waiting for. So it's going to come. But it feels like there's a period of stillness that will likely be followed by finding the wisdom, the answer that you need in terms of how you move forward. Okay, what do we have for Aquarius? I choose to live with courage. I do not allow others to intimidate me. I stand my ground. I never give up. Is your affirmation. Let's pull a final message for you. Final message for Aquarius for the first half of September. Thank you. We have life energy. The happy fairy of sunshine brings lots of life giving energy. She reminds you to shine your light and to reveal anything in the shadows that needs to be healed. Life energy is light, it's sunshine energy, everything becoming clear. So there's a strong indication with this reading that, you know, you're getting that kind of light bulb moment, you're seeing the light, you're getting the clarity. That's what I have for you, Aquarius, for the first half of September. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful first half. I will see you next time.